Wow! The dapper donut? Look. Oh. Donuts? Yeah, we're at Walmart looking for whole fat buttermilk and we couldn't find it. So next we have to go to Albertsons and then if we can't find it in Albertsons, we'll go to Fry's. So they did they don't have whole buttermilk, just low fat. So we're gonna go to Albertsons with JB. JB was so good, y'all. He pushed my buggy, rung up all my groceries. It was just five or six things. Then carried the bags to the car, opened up the trunk. So we came, we come, came back inside. I'm gonna get him a toy. Cause I didn't even ask him to do that. That was so sweet, baby. Oh, that's a keychain. We're at Denny's, you guys. Y'all, I haven't been in Denny's in like two years. Yeah, two years almost. Hold on, I, have, I have never been in Denny's. We, we, were, we went to, um, to the one in Texas when you were around two years old. I don't remember that. Because you were just a baby. That's the last time we've been to Denny's. Denny's in three years. It seems like I won't eat the soup. Combo cake. Alright, y'all, we are done with Combo. Denny's. I didn't even eat all my food. I that was really a waste. It was an experience for him because I know JB loves pancakes. I ate one and a half pieces of toast, two bites of my egg, a bite of each, a bite of like literally there was I didn't eat hardly anything, but um I'm not even full. It's just something for JB. Um give it another hour or two, then we're gonna go to the gym, let this food settle, and we're gonna go to the gym and work it out. Um, and then I think our food is going back. I have some groceries in the back too. But the only thing that's really back there, boo boo, food is going bad. it's just bananas. There's nothing back there that's refrigerated, okay? It's not bad at all. So, y'all, the name of that nonprofit organization that I am volunteering for, or signed up for, is called Dress for Success. And I remember them being highlighted on the local news here. And they have, um, this organization is in every, every major city here in the U.S. And it basically helps women to prepare for the uh, interview for a job. I so, everything you. from... Good, I ate some food. Good. Um, everything from helping them with their makeup, their jewelry, uh, their clothes, the interview process itself. So I signed up to do a per, uh, to be a personal shopper. Yeah, I said, is this Mexican food? Child, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Gee. I signed up to be a personal shopper because I think I have yeah. impeccable taste well, I said, this and is African food. I, I I think I can put it well. To, I can pull myself well together when it comes to especially dressing the world. So JB, we up here eating hat, and he's almost done with his pants. Okay, put your shoes down, baby. Put your feet down. Put your. What happens is that whatever you're stepping on outside is getting on the car. Don't do that, baby. Um. Halfway done with his food, and he's like, "Is this Mex?" He he whispers, "Is this Mexican food?" <laughs> Because our waitress is Mex is Latino, I'm like JB. <clears throat> when the hell did pancakes become Mexican food? Ninja hair pasta, fettuccine. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, creamy sauce. We got spinach. We have tomatoes. We have breaded chicken that is going on top. This is for me today. This is for my husband for today and tomorrow. Some Christmas presents. I think I know who this is from. Maybe I don't. Did I order something? Let's see, this presents for me. Look at JB, Ari. JB, you did this last year. You know what, I can't even see myself. Y'all may have to stop soon because my neighbor's coming over. Lord. So let's see. Hi Vivian, an early Christmas present wishing you and your family all the best. 
for the remainder of the year and upcoming new year. All the best tea. Oh girl, I hope it's some weight loss pills in here because mama's clothes are fitting back tight again. Oh, she got me. Oh, you know what, girl? I really did like that other one you sent me. This is, I bet this is copper or gold. No, you know, you sent me gold last time. Photo ready eye art. Love, this could be used for a lash line. I used it for um, actual eyeshadow. Yes, let me go ahead. Ooh, JB, you in my way, baby. Beauty blenders, I needed some more of this. Thank you. Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. Whoa. Yes. What is this? Hercules. Oh, she got me two of these. This is so pretty. Oh, this is like a green, like, oh, oh. Hey, can you this order is me? Pretty. Can you that order, is pretty. Can you order me some Christmas presents? Uh, yeah, baby. Close to her. Oh, look, y'all. I got another detail. Hercules. Made in Germany. Hey, man. You need a Hercules for all this hair. I haven't heard of this. Have y'all heard of this? Uh oh. Let's go. Yeah, it's my neighbor. Hold on. Who y'all? It is. I think it's a, lot, a little past past eight o'clock, not eight thirty. Um, oh two days goodness. before Thanksgiving, which just makes it Tuesday. Um, we did go. We we did a lot today. We did like six different places today, which is a lot. Um, JB went to karate, which he did really well. And shortly after that, my neighbor came over. She said just to visit. You know, she came over to visit for a while. And so funny, like, she was asking me what... And, and I'll be good. And yeah, JB, JB has a problem with interrupting adults, which is when you're old school, like I, I was raised, and how my neighbor, she's from East Texas too, and she's almost 70. It was very, very disrespectful, JB. You cannot interrupt adults. And he's only five, year, five years old, you guys, but it starts no, at No, five age. and a half. Five and a half. But that cancels out everything. You were horrible when she was here. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about you right now. So don't do that while I'm recording, okay? Anyway, y'all, she was like, okay, so what, are you gonna do everything? I said, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do everything. I'm from Longview. So she was shocked that I even do my, my chicken stock from scratch. And so I asked her, I said, are you going to, um, she said the only thing that, they, that she doesn't cook is the dressing, what she gets from Marie calendar, so let me turn it down a little bit, baby. All right, you guys, it is uh, Thanksgiving Eve and I have stuff out. Look, I, I can't believe it's, I did it is this. Th Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Eve. I have all my, y'all, now I, I'm getting old. Now I have to write everything out so I don't forget anything. This is quite of a list. And a lot of these things depend on, like the dressing depends on me making a stock and the cornbread before. So, uh, shh, we're gonna have to go to the store because I need more butter. I need way more butter. Uh, the, I mean, I have butter going in, into the cornbread, the cornbread dressing, pound cake, buttermilk pie. Yeah. I have all my dishes out and I need to clean everything today, dry everything off. This is going to be my, for my grade. Let me back out some, y'all. Um, I cannot believe that I was like, I got all my stuff. I ain't got to go back to the store. And I was talking to my best friend on the phone, y'all. We were going over what we're all cooking. Now, she's hosting it at Thanksgiving at her house. She comes from a large family, and all her family is there, girl. A large Nigerian family, and all her family is there in um, Texas. So I was telling her about the cake. I'm cooking a brown sugar pound cake, which I've merged cooking with Caroline and Divas Can Cook recipes together. Now, I've made it. This will be my fourth time making this cake. And I told her, I said, you know, last year when I made it, I used three sticks of butter, and that's too much butter. So we were going back and forth on what, you know, what I could do to still make it a good pound cake but use less butter so that it can still be more so she was telling me how she thinks i could add sour cream in. i wanted to tell y'all that my mom hosts a thanksgiving um dinner in her neighborhood every year y'all you talk about <laughs> some cooking people i come from a huge traditional family and so what she does and i see her post all the time my mama's always on social media girl you can't tell her nothing dog. They have three dogs. Oh, no. We ain't got time for that. No. We ain't got uh, time for three dogs. <laughs> three German Shepherds at that. Big dogs. I bet they eating them out of out the house. They look like they got money, though. Anyway, um, 
all she does not all but what she does is that she will you know ask for volunteers to uh which is not hard to do because it's a lot of people in my family but she'll ask for volunteers to help <clears throat> excuse me serve the food <clears throat> she'll ask for donations whether it be an actual you know ingredients or um money and you, people don't have to but they like to do it because she's she helps out so she said she made because i called her the day afterwards she said she made eight pants of dressing eight pants i mean she does it all she'll do dressing she does sides she does all the um delicious desserts so i asked her how many people did you serve how many people came by the house? 230 people. She will rent out chairs and tables in their actual garage and have people there. Had the fire department out there, the police, police officers were out there. I was like, wow. I know last year she had a little over 100 people that stopped by. And it's just all outdoors. You know, people just stop by, grab a plate to go plate and go. Because my mom is a um, kitchen cook, y'all. She, she has been doing that as a profession for about 20 years. So she knows how to cook like that. Um, she's very kind. So my aunts were all out there helping, and yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm talking right now. I'm filming. Yeah, I, I definitely can't have nobody over here. JB over here licking lemons that I have to put in the buttermilk pot. Like you, you. That's your lemon then. Gosh, Lord have mercy. So right now I'm gonna be making my desserts. I have to pop. I have to pause to pop. So excuse the background. Lord have mercy, making my desserts. And right now I have my chicken on for my chicken stock. Cranberries are on. All right, you guys. This is the buttermilk pie, y'all. I, I I buttermilk pie I is so easy to do. Mix. I don't eat cookie dough. I'm just saying. I don't eat stuff like that. I know, I don't either. I'm just saying. One cup of buttermilk, I'm balling. That's one cup. And then we're gonna add, I'm gonna add lemon extract and fresh That's lemon. That's buttermilk? Okay, go, do the next one. All right, you guys, I'm making my cornbread. And uh, that's enough, baby, that's enough. And um, I like to add seasonings directly to the cornbread mixture. That way when you're tasting the, the cornbread itself, oh, that's new, let me open that up. Mm -hmm. When you're tasting the cornbread it. itself, it needs to be open the other way. That has to be open. Baby, so JB's helping me, but he's being a pain. Um, I'm using the cornbread recipe off the backs oh. of the cornmeal mix. I'm omitting the sugar. I don't know who likes sweet dressing, but girl, bless your heart. Um, I do not use a mix. Jiffy cornbread is way too sweet. We, traditional cornbread dressing does not call for sugar, y'all. I don't care who, you, who you're talking to. It does not call for sugar. This is how we make it out in East Texas. Very, very simple. The only thing that goes in it, we don't do the Holy Trinity. You need to stop it. Celery, onion, and a stick of butter. No sweetened condensed milk, or not sweetened condensed milk, <laughs> cream of chicken, no cream, none of that, okay? Chicken broth, preferably made from the bones of a chicken. The you can use chicken, chicken stock, if you, you can do store-bought, but there is a big difference. Okay, you guys, this is my buttermilk brine for the actual hens. Um, this is about two cups of buttermilk, and to that I have onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, Italian seasoning, sage, Poultry seasoning, uh, black pepper, a little bit of salt, and that is it. We're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna place these in plastic bags and each individual hen is gonna go in. When I only picked up three hens, I figured my husband's gonna have to work the next day, y'all. So I'll have one hen by myself the next day. So yes, let me go ahead and put this together, wash off my hands, pack them dry, and then this is what's gonna go over them. They're gonna be basically marinate for a good 24 hours. I will be roasting those um, with basically um, nothing else in the cavities, but I will be putting some red potatoes um, around the hens towards the last 30 minutes of roasting, okay? Right. These are my buttermilk hens that are gonna be brining overnight. Like I said, I put them in individual plastic bags. Now you never wanna place your meat directly into the, your refrigerator. You wanna put it in something, either a bowl or on a plate, just in case, girl, just in case. I have wiped down everything with Clorox wipes. I have bleached down my sink. Look, I do not play. I will have, um, let me show you. The cranberry sauce is done, and I'm gonna taste it. See how it gels up a little bit, and I like them still a little whole like that. Really good. I did end up adding like one tablespoon of carol syrup, light carol syrup, um, and I'll probably put a squirt of lemon on here. I will place this into the bowl, put some saran wrap on it, and that is it, you guys. Um, let's check on my cornbread. I have my cornbread in here. 
that pie will be done in about 10 more minutes. The cornbread will give it another 20. What is it on? It's on 365. Girl, black people put everything on 365, don't we? That cake has a the cake has another, I would say another 25 to 30 minutes to go. But this pie, I give it another 10 or 15. Um, yeah, y'all. This is a complete fail. Um, this is my fourth time making this cake, many times making a pound cake, and I'm trying to figure out what happened, what went wrong. This did not rise at all, so that could be a number of things. I didn't put enough baking soda. Um, perhaps I should have used an extra egg, but it didn't rise at all. Since this is the highlight of my desserts, I'm going to have to go ahead and purchase a kit. Um, and then we'll have a, to go a, I'm not, you're going not, you're not going with me. I'm going to get a box and then add in. some stuff to it because I, I'm over at this point. And at least with the box cake mix, it will, it will be a right, no So this is a do over. This is by Betty Crocker. This is a butter pecan cake mix. This is the closest, in my opinion, of the brown sugar pound cake. Now, I, what I added to that, even though this says it's made with pudding, I went ahead and added like one to two tablespoons. I didn't even, I just not noticed this was sugar free. That's okay. I think they're all sugar free actually. And then I added one tablespoon of vanilla. I did three eggs, one egg white. This is usually what I do. One and a half, actually one box and like one fourth of this box oh, yeah. into a pound cake. Of course, some vegetable oil. I would rather do that than waste another two sticks of butter. I, I don't want to waste any ingredients that I may need for tomorrow. I don't want to waste any more butter, no more eggs. Let's just go with the mix. In order of what you think the first, next, and last picture is. One, two, and three. Good job, JB. First, next, and last. Oh, hold on, baby. Hold on. Let's flip that page over. Put this front back and forth. All right, so these can be a little different. I, hell, I can't even get this one. Let's go on to the, this one. Counting by tens. Do we, we remember how to count by tens? 10, 40, 50. No, 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 no. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job, JB. What is this right here called? Do you know what this right here is? A plus. Plus sign or addition. So when we're adding something, we're equal. adding two. Yes, that's equal. So if I have and three, oh, I have to sneeze. Where are the, all three the other plus ones? Three Jimmy. Plus. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is upside down. Mm. Oh, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. So three plus three in my spaceship. Equal. You have to count them. So if you have three, let's count. After three, there's what? How many? After three, what comes after three? What number comes after three? Don't worry about this. What number comes after three? Four. Then, one number comes after four. Five. That's six. All right, so do you see the number six over here? Yeah. This glue stick is about on his last leg, child. Go ahead, baby. I, I don't is think that's working. Is that on his last leg? <laughs> I mean, J, JB doesn't get these sayings because he's just a child. He's like on his last leg. He doesn't have any legs. I know, baby. <laughs> The meaning it doesn't is, have any legs. I know, it's meaning it's it's just about done. All right, go ahead and put that number on there, darling. Um, the six? Yeah, it's a six. At first, I thought it was a nine. <laughs> I know, right? So, so, four plus three. What comes up to four? Five. But you have three. Keep counting. What comes you up have to six, seven. Hold on. <laughs> You have four. <laughs> JB, come on. JB, come up here. Come up here. Don't give it up. No, 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 no. Come up here. And I don't think you have all the numbers up here. Something's off. Four. What comes after four? Five. Six. Seven. Okay. That's why I got this free. Because I already know. Oh, excuse me. <laughs>
So this is what we're looking for. This is the type of height. Can you tell? And it smells divine. Yes, this is what we're looking for. So I'm going to. Yeah. To save on time, I'm going to go ahead and do my caramel sauce today. Um, caramel sauce is fairly easy but difficult at the same time. You want to swirl it around. This is brown sugar. Be very careful because this is hot. Um, butter. Heavy cream goes in and then vanilla and it's that simple. I'm going to take it off the eye and put everything in.